Hello folks, here we are, back on the van build. Once again, this just seems to be going on forever, doesn't it? So, what I want to do first of all is take you for a little walk around the side of the van there and show you what I've been up to, and then we're going to take a look at what we're going to be doing today. So, what I did the other day is I have fit these exterior night lights on the side of here. There's another one at the back there over what will be our barbecue point and then there's one on the driver's side just on the front here pointing down to the side. These serve a number of purposes so when we're camped out in the dark on a night we're sitting out here we can just flick this one on and it's a light there. If we're barbecuing we can flick that one on as well. The one on the other side is just for so we can use the utilities on the side of the van at night if we need to. Also safety and security. As you know I've got the light bar at the front and I'm going to have reversing spots at the back soon. They're all on their own independent switches where if I hear some noises in the middle of the night and we're out camped in the middle of nowhere, I can just jump out of bed, I can click two switches there into the cab, click two switches there and we will light up everything <laughs> for a long way around. So anyone who's uh, thinking any nasty thoughts around our van is going to very quickly run away. So yeah, that's why we've done that. Also, it's just more wires, as you can imagine. And this is one of the things that's slowing me down because every time I think I'm about to start getting the last of the insulation in and start building things, I think, oh no, I need to add that to the roof or that to the van. And it's another wire coming in and I've got to get the wires done first. I do have an internet antenna to go on the roof that's arriving very very soon and the brackets I need for the reversing lights will be here any day now so that's going to happen soon and then honestly honestly this is it that's the last of the wiring and then uh, we can get on with uh, building things and as soon as we start building things I'm hoping it's going to go really quickly anyway let me show you inside what we're going to get on with today Yep, that's right, we're taking the headliner down. Now, this has been waiting to be done since we bought the van. I wanted to get on with it right at the beginning, but it didn't interfere with any of the jobs that needed to happen in the back. Therefore, it didn't matter if it got left. What's gonna happen is we're gonna unscrew this, take it down. We've got to insulate the uh, van body behind it. But before it goes back in, we are going to build a shelf about this sort of height. So we've still got the use of these shelves in the front and we're gonna build it out across here and fix it in tight to this. What we're gonna do is also carpet it and we've got a just off black carpet that we're gonna be using around the van. And I'm thinking I might carpet this as well so it all matches and ties in. Then the only other thing to do would be I'm gonna add a USB socket on the inside of the cupboard just in case things that can sit there permanently like torches or things like that that can be just permanently on charge, always topped up in case we ever need them. Then eventually it's gonna have a front on it with an opening door and there'll be switches here for the outside lights on both left and right. Um, I know I said earlier that we were gonna be doing this today. I think we're gonna be doing this for today, tomorrow and possibly the day after. It feels like a bit of a big job to me. So anyway, let's get started, shall we? <laughs> A screw pot. That'll do. Empty them. Actually, I don't know why I didn't think of that before. Turn the seats around, I'll have much more space, won't I? Much better. All right, that's too slow. That's more like it. <laughs> Those are off. Oh, and if anyone's wondering where John is, he's on his way soon. He had some errands to run this morning. Now he's having a workout, bless him. He's enjoying working out. It's making him stronger for his rock climbing that he really enjoys. All right, I'm just gonna take this little hook off here. Oh, come on, there we go. And that looks like a smaller one. Is that size? It is. 
and it's not in too hard so I can undo it. Very good, in the box. Double check the wires. Hey, hey, there we have it. That's a part of the van I've never seen before. Ah, now here's the connections to my outside lights that I fit. There's another one. What I'm gonna have to do is make sure I wire those up permanently before this goes back in. Ah, but that's, that's really nice that masking tape let me show you come here this is why I'm so happy with this van I know I spent a bit more than I wanted to for those who've been around a long time you remember me talking about this earlier on in the build um, I spent a bit more than I planned to buying this van but it just makes me happy and glad that I did when I do things like this I take panels off and behind it it looks new that just looks like it's come straight out of a factory it's just absolutely pristine so yeah, that makes me happy, that makes me happy. Right, I think we'll get that insulated first, so then that's job done. Uh, and then I'm gonna have to, oh, I need to go and buy plywood to build a shelf. I'll have to put the B pillars back on again so I can use the seat belts. Hmm, all right, let's do it. Now, before I get to the insulation, I just wanna show you something. Bef to build a shelf, we need a template. Now, very kindly, one of our subscribers, uh, Aaron, if you're watching, thank you so, so much. Absolutely amazing help. He sent us this through, which he no longer needed. He used it on his sprinter. That is a paper template of the shape of the shelf that we need. Now, that one is designed to have the shelf a little bit lower down than what I want to have it, but it's enabled me to use that. And I built this. I did this back when I first got that template in the post because, because I'm impatient and I couldn't wait, could I really? I don't know if it's exact, I need to double check it again, but that, I should be able to just draw around that onto a piece of plywood and uh, then we figure out how we're fitting it in. I've seen a couple of different methods and I'm pretty much sure I know the one I'm going for. So, uh, yeah. Insulation, first, wood, second. Let's go. Right, somewhere in this bomb site, here's all my wood and bits of insulation, lawnmower. More insulation. Ooh, that's something else we'll show you later. Uh, somewhere in here, there it is. This oh, has been waiting to do this job for months. I bought it for this job and I used some of it to do the wheel arches and I'm hoping there's enough left to do there. Let's find out. <laughs> I think more than enough. Oh, wonderful. I'll use it somewhere else as well then. So I've seen people being all clever and doing the contours and getting it down inside there as well. I'm not that clever. I'm just going to do one big solid piece and then I'll do... Actually, there's plenty of room in there to stick Kingspan, I bet. Let's do that. Much better stuff. I'll stick some of this as well. Why not? we got loads. Let's use it all over the place. Right. So it's just that aerial to get around so i could quite simply just measure that cut it stick it in sounds easy doesn't it let's do it Hello. right he's here so what we need to do is i just basically need you to hold it yeah it's kind of going there let me just check this one again yeah that's all right there so more importantly than anything, if you can come here, two hands like that, that never ever move, yeah? Mm -hmm. Well, that went incredibly smoothly. <laughs> I wish all jobs were like that. There you go. So I shall just cut some pieces that will fit in there, do the same there and there. Well, maybe even stick some Kingspan just for fun. It almost seems a bit pointless because there's nothing inside here. And whether or not I'm going to spray stuff inside there or try and pack some stuff in, I should really. 
Hmm. There's so many nooks and crannies. And when you spend so long insulating walls beautifully like this, it seems a complete waste to not do a certain pillar. Such as here, we can't access this pillar. We can't get in it. So I'm going to drill a couple of holes and we're going to squirt foam inside it. Otherwise, it's just one cold spot, which kind of defeats the purpose, really. Anyway, onward and upward. I'll get these triangles quickly cut and bopped in. I don't think you need to see that. We need to get a move on. It's lunchtime already. And we're back just like that. We've had a bit of a busy hour or two there without you. As you can see, I have got insulation down inside there. I've managed to get it all up inside here. Bit of Kingspan and uh, insulation, foil tape. I've also been sorting out my wires for the side lights. I have soldered these wires so they're not going anywhere ever. Same over here. This light here, I've soldered it inside there. It's all got heat shrink on it to keep it tidy. So I've been faffing around with wires for a little bit because it's all got to be done perfectly before we uh, can put the headliner back in. We've just been to the shops. I've got a whopping great sheet of ply to build the shelf out of. Very exciting. A few bits of wood. John has been filling all this with insulation today. So yeah, we disappeared on you for a little while, but I just wanted to, you know how it is. I just want to get moving forward. But now... I believe I've just got to put a few cable ties around some more of that wire, but it's time to start looking at that template that I made and just getting it absolutely perfect now. And uh, then I can cut it out of the wood and then I will show you my plan. Changing the battery, part three. Right, well, that was a bit of a faff, but we got there in the end. The mirrored version of it seems to work quite well. Um, I'm gonna go and cut my straight lines now with this saw. Then I'll get the jigsaw to get some of the curves and we'll give it a test fit. Then, depending on time today, I'm gonna start looking at the battens and the way I'm gonna fix it. Cause I'll have to fit these battens to the shelf before I carpet the shelf. Anyway, let's get this cut. Oh, ear defenders. Right, there we go. There's a few rough edges. It's going to need some sanding. But I think a test fit is what happens first. Let's give it a go. I have to say that's pretty good for the first cut. I could chamfer the sides of it a little bit, but I can't be bothered. I'm gonna sand it, we're gonna cover it in carpet. It's not gonna matter. It's gonna look fantastic. Um, yeah, let's get it sanded. You don't need to see that, I hate sanding, it's boring. I'll see you in a minute. Right, that's all sanded and it's a lovely fit. Ooh, just catch that last bit of sun of the day there. I'm going to let you in on my plan. Now, it's not my plan. I'm copying other people's plans that I've watched on YouTube. First of all, we're going to fix a batten to there, right the way along. I'll fix it in nice and solid because that's going to give us the strength we need because it's 12 mil ply, which is very, very sturdy. But I just want to give it everything and every uh, opportunity it can have to be strong. 
So I'm also then, again, like I've seen certain people do on YouTube, I'm going to cut into the side of the headliner and I'm going to send this right through there. And then you can actually uh, put a bracket onto the van wall. And then that is a really strong uh, fixing. Then I have seen people who put brackets underneath the shelf going into various parts of the van. I don't like that. The one I like that I've seen people do is sticking a lump of wood like this up underneath, over here against the side wall, and then you fix it from the other side of the headliner. So all I've got to do is cut a couple of pieces of wood there, um, and I'm also going to chamfer them on a slight angle because obviously everything's on an angle here. So I'm going to find that angle. I'm going to get a couple of pieces of wood, chamfer them off, fix them to this. We'll get the big button that we're going to fix to this. We will install it. And then once all those bits of wood are fixed onto it, we can carpet it. I don't know if I'm going to get to that today, but uh, yeah, so there's the plan. Should we get on with it? Right, I've got a piece of wood ready. What I'm going to do now is just cut out. You can see I've marked where I want them here. I'm going to cut them out with a multi-tool. Close your ears. Same on the other side. Right, does that make sense what I was saying now, you see? Obviously everything's upside down here. If we go now like this, that should, 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 yes. So I can fix this to this for a bit of strength. This will be hidden, of course, because eventually there'll be a, a door on the front and whatnot. Also helps stop things falling out. So what I've got to do is pop the headliner back in and just see the length that this wood wants to be. And then I can make those side pieces. Yeah, then we'll see where we're at. I'm running out of steam. It's end of day really, but my brain wants to keep going. My body's saying no. We'll see how we get on, hey? Okay, it is sort of tacked up there, balanced on my tripod. Hence I'm holding the camera in my hand. And that's our cupboard space. Or cabinet, what would you call that? I don't know, overhead cabinet, cupboard thing. It's tacked up there, but as you can see, these holes I made, they were too high up. So I'm gonna have to drop it by that much, which is fine, doesn't matter. It's all gonna be hidden, so there'll be a gap above. It doesn't matter. Uh, same on that side. I've had to router it out a little bit more at the back to get it up. Um, it does push up a bit more. So now I'm just planning out my carpeting. I'm not sure whether to carpet the two pieces separately, then fit them together, or whether I build the whole thing as a unit and then carpet just the underneath section and up and around this lip, because the inside doesn't really matter. No one's ever going to see it, apart from us, of course. But the, this is the sort of storage cupboard. It's going to be like sheets and pillowcases and jack winter jackets and any things like that so it'll just be shoved in material stuff no one's ever going to be able to see it so uh i'll see i've decided to sleep on it anyway so gonna catch up with you in the morning john's having a good old sweep up out there or is he talking to the cat hi mittens and just like that it's tomorrow we've got Nice blue skies this morning. I think the weather forecast is clouding over later, so we're going to make the most of it. John's on his way, bless him. He's up early to work with me. Um, everything I said before still applies. So I'm going to get this thing taken down onto my workbench. I'm going to cut these bits out, like I've said, drop that, fix it all in. I've made the decision. I'm leaving that. Don't need to carpet it. Why would I bother? Wasting my own time. I am just going to make a nice, neat job of carpeting that lower section with that um, in. The only thing is I've got a gap there, so I might see if I can, I don't know, I might just let the carpet stretch across the gap. Undecided. Let's get it out, let's get it onto a workbench and start putting it together.
<laughs> it's going in today. It is going in today. <laughs> right, I know I've said this many times, but my time is running out. I don't want to have to spend another month uh, rent on that house. So what I'm probably going to do is not talk to the camera too much. I might just put you on a time lapse and I'm going to get this done. Let's go. There we go, there we go. Do you understand how that's working now? So what I'm gonna be able to do is when I put that onto that, is have more bits of wood on the back, on the side, because there's plenty of space for it, and then I will screw from the outside into these pieces of wood and sandwich it. So we're gonna have the strut that goes across the back for strength and it's gonna be fixed on the sides at the front everywhere, it's gonna be plenty, plenty strong enough. And that way we don't have any brackets showing underneath. And uh, I can have a nice clean carpet. Now what I'm actually thinking of doing is I think I'm gonna carpet the inside and over all these things as best I can and then actually trim it really neat around the edge. And then when I fit it in, sorry, I'll turn you around. Then when I fit it in, uh, I'm gonna carpet the underneath straight onto that. I might use some foam or something like that to fill in the gaps and make them smooth. It's going really well. I'm very, very happy. I'm very glad I slept, slept on this. I was prepared to keep going into the night and that would have been stupid. I've gotta stop myself doing that. I've had a really good night's sleep. It is the key. And this is going fantastically. I reckon oh, I'll have this in early today and I can get onto something else. Yes. Okay. I'm going to look at putting a bit of four-way stretch carpet on the inside, sort of the top of this shelf, just because I think it'll look nice. Um, for anyone who's never done this before, I'll give you a very quick demonstration as how we're doing it. But if you want to go back and look at, we've got a video called Work Van to Camper Van, which was the first time we ever converted a van, the, my old blue van, but the first time we did it. And John gives a very, very good demonstration on how to do this four-way stretch carpet. So the way we're going to do this is, First of all, I've cut it to slightly oversized. Now be very aware that there are two sides to this. One, you can see just by looking at it, you won't be able to see through the camera, I don't think. But one side just looks a bit tattier and the other side looks really good. So what we're gonna do is make sure it's laid out everywhere and it's got plenty of excess on all sides because we'll trim it down, no problem. Yep, yep, yep. That's good. And I'm going to do it in sections. I'm going to peel back a piece to get us started, like that. There we go. And I'm going to spray it. But what I don't want to do is obviously spray the top of the good bit over here. So we'll pop that under there. And then we've got this contact adhesive spray, which is incredible. It comes out like Spider-Man's spider web. It's brilliant, I love it. So, we will go like this. Whoa, the wind's catching it. Oh, 
oh, oh, no, 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 no. It's gonna end up sticking to itself, okay. Chain in the battery, part five. What we need to do now is carefully push this from the middle. And because we'd already laid it out, that's gonna stick beautifully, of course it is. Ah, the wind helps, thank you wind. And then you can actually push it, oops, 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 push it into nooks and crannies like that and it will stretch. The carpet will stretch and give and allow itself to be pushed in ah, to corners and edges like that. And then it looks beautiful. Now, I'm just wondering how it's going to contend with getting around these. Yes, that's great. Look at that. There we go. I'm a little bit out of practice, but I think that went quite well. So there we go, looking really nice. So that's what the inside of our shelf is gonna look like. Nice, hey? Now normally, you then wrap this around so it grips on the other side, and normally that's a panel that's gonna disappear into a wall so you don't see it. This is gonna be slightly different because I'm gonna be fixing that batten of wood across here, and I'm gonna bring the carpet around from underneath and lap it over. So the batten of wood will hold this edge. Now, I don't really know, I'm not sure, I'll have nothing to hold these edges because, again, I don't want to fold this under because the underside is what we're going to see from the cab. And then it'll have double layers and you'll see a crease and I don't want that. So I am also going to trim this one off very carefully around here and just hope that it holds without the overlap. I'm sure it'll be fine. Then we carpet the whole of the underside and then it goes in without any problems. You want to learn a really neat trick for cutting this stuff. It's a nightmare cutting it with scissors and knives. It's really, really difficult. Now, a good thing, uh, a good way of doing it that's uh, going around YouTube is using a soldering iron. That works beautifully. But if you're lucky enough to be like me and I used to be a plumber and I've got one of these, get an old scraper. Look at that. Right, that's fixed together um, temporarily. What we're going to do is go in through the side door because John's been working in the back there with spray foam. I don't think it's going to fit, if I'm perfectly honest. I think the carpet, I didn't realise how thick it was, but I think the carpet has put a bit of uh, extra width on the shelf and I think it's going to be a tight to a, a non-fit. <laughs> Let's find out. All right, so we're probably going to have to make some space in it. I'll have to spin my chair around as well. Right. Oh, it's going to fit. Okay, that's what it's going to feel like in the van. That's how on your roof. It's quite high up, actually, isn't it? It's not bad at all. That's it. Then it can come around and through. Oh. Oh yeah, that could not have been any better. It fits, it fits almost perfectly. So, John's got some stuff to do. He's nipping off to the shops to get us some eggs and things. Um, I am gonna carpet that thing and it's going in. We're actually gonna be finished early ahead of time today so I can get on with some other stuff. But you won't be seeing that till next week. Uh, let's put you on a time-lapse again. Sorry, it's just time-lapse after time-lapse on this video, but it's getting a lot of work done. Changing the battery, part seven. Right, here we go. John and I are gonna come and lift it in through this side door. 
got a lot of wires to thread through and a couple to connect before we pop it up and hopefully get it fit in permanently for good and it never comes out again. Let's go. Right. Put it down if you need to. I don't know, the best thing to do is, hang on, just, will the headrests hold it at the back there? Yeah, they will, look. Sorry folks, it cut out then. It's probably a good thing because I was shouting and swearing and it wasn't really pleasant at all. Was it, John? No. Sorry, mate. Okay, John, probably come back here. It's holding itself up with a couple of bolts now, but we've got to get some more in. Oh, come on. Dun, 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 dun. There we go, look at that. A completely unnecessary light as well. How's that? And I am so happy with how it's come out under here. Look at that, it's factory, factory fit. So we've still got a little storage cubby up here, which is what I always wanted. And then for, uh, John, could you hold the camera, please? Thank you. And then for getting in the front, it's not even close to banging your head. I don't feel like I have to duck down so much at all. And then if we spin these chairs around, the same thing, let me just move that wire. Same thing, you don't feel like you have to get out of the way of it, it's just a natural, natural sitting, natural standing, and you clear it without banging your head. I like it. I don't know about you though, you're huge. Why don't you have a go? Yeah, does that work for you, sir? You did that on purpose. <laughs> Well, I am so happy with that. I am so, so happy with that. Um, obviously, there's all these wires coming through here because, like I say, eventually there will be a front on it because, obviously, there'll be a cupboard here. We've talked about this already. So there'll be a door, flippy-top door, and there'll be a little bit of sort of panel wall there which will have outside light switches, a switch for this, and, uh, yeah, that's it, really. We're going to have a quick tidy up, and then we're going to do the L test. Let's do the L test. Should we do an L test, John? Yeah. There she is, the inspector. Hello. What do you think to this, Elle? Come and have a look. I just realised. Um, what, what is it for? Go and have a look. What is it for? It's storage. Oh. You can probably stand up on John's seat and have a look, maybe. Oh, this toolbox. <laughs> I'm too sure. No. That's strong. Can you see? Ooh, yeah. So it's a big storage area and it will have a door on it eventually. But as for like winter jackets yeah. and duvets and things like that, yeah? Smells nice. Well, it's the new carpet. Yeah. And look, what do you reckon underneath here? Doesn't it look great? Yeah. Because it's all new carpet on all this now, so it's all the same colour. Why is it carpet though? Because when it was carpet before, it's just that it was the grey carpet. It was oh. that carpet before, do you remember? Oh yeah. Under there. But now it's like that. It's that's more the more fluffy carpet. That's the carpet we chose, remember? When yeah. we were choosing the samples. Yeah. Does it get an Ella thumbs up? Yes. Brilliant. Right, John, come and say goodbye. That's it, we're gonna say goodbye, guys. Oh. I hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching. As always, do hit the like, do hit the subscribe, do hit the share, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Me, 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 me,